Hey guys, this is Yanks Rock 1000 here, and just wanted to show you some of the hardware features of this iBook that I just got. So I've been using it for probably like a few hours, and I, in in my first video, I only showed you like the actual computer, the operating system, some of the um, web browsing. But right now, I just want to show you some of the actual hardware features, so you could see what it actually looks like if you haven't used one of these before. So, um, right down here, you can see the iBook, which is, looks like pretty similar font to what the MacBook and MacBook Pro say right now. Uh, on the sides are two speakers, and I tested them out, and they actually work pretty good. I put a CD in, in the CD-ROM slot right here, and it actually sounded really good. So that's something that, um, an upside to this laptop. Also, this keyboard might look a little interesting. That's because the keys are translucent. Translucent means you can kind of see through them. So when you see right here, you might be able to see like some of the like actual keys and not these covers that are on the keys. Um, also, I'm pretty sure that this laptop, you can upgrade the hardware and stuff by taking out this um, the keyboard. So you see these two things up here? Well, what you do is put push those back and then you take the keyboard out and then you could see all the hardware. Up here is the um, power switch. The keys right here is the uh, eject button. So the trackpad is actually really big and probably a little over one third of it is the actual click clicking thing. And this is the trackpad. It doesn't have like two finger scrolling as the other ones have because this is not a glass trackpad. So um, I'll close this for a second and you can see the back has the Apple logo similar to the ones that you'd see on current MacBooks right now. And here are the ports. You got your Ethernet, um, two USBs, headphone jack, Right here is something cool. There's the sleep light. So once it's asleep right now, I just closed it. This light will shine on and off because it is asleep. That's pretty cool. Just this, this laptop was like twelve ninety nine back in two thousand three. So they had a lot of these little gimmicks. They still have that now. I guess you get what you pay for. You get an expensive laptop. You get some cool things with it too. Here's the CD-ROM drive. I'll open this back up so you could actually see it. Press eject, and it instantly, that was actually really pretty fast, it instantly opened the CD. CDs work pretty cool in here. I hope this doesn't break, because it seems kind of flimsy, but it hasn't broken in 10 years, so that's pretty good. Um, on the back is just your fans. On the... Uh, when you turn it over, you can see right here, I believe, is the hard drive. And right here is the uh, battery. So it shows you full battery right now. This four. That's really cool. If you just you don't want to open the computer and you just want to know how much battery, click this. You got your battery. This you turn so you could open the uh, hard drive. Here there's like four rubber feet. Two of mine are missing, but that's okay. It said in the eBay description that some might be gone. So, um... The screen, I believe, well, let me double check. I think it's a uh, 1024 by something screen. The screen's actually pretty good. It's not glossy, so it's, it's pretty th um, thin, this um, clamshell at the top. So um, this is the hardware inside. As you can see, 800 megahertz, uh, 256 gigabytes of RAM. Yeah, it's running 4.11. No, 10, oops, 10.4.11 Tiger, the latest version of Tiger. And then another thing I want to show you is how thin this is. It's a really nice looking laptop, considering it's 10 years old. The hardware on this iBook is really great. So, like, if you guys wanted to get a laptop just for web browsing, minor things, 
this laptop isn't just fast, but it looks nice too. So yeah, that's just my little hardware review of this. Certainly I'll have a real review up later showing everything. But that's just a little thing to hold you until later. So this is Yanks Rock 1000. Subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.